What's up guys, Rated Designs here, and today is going to be a uh, tutorial on the uh, kryptonite effect. Um, it's basically a Grebler effect, but it is called the kryptonite effect because I have no idea, and it kind of just looks like kryptonite. But anyways, um, as you guys can see here, it's just a cool looking, uh, as on the left side, you're going to see pretty much close up of what the right side is, but uh, the left side is very, it's a rocky kryptonite type thing, and uh, the or the left side is a very rocky kryptonite thing, and the right side is very rocky, and it kind of just blends everything, but it just looks very nice. And today I'm just going to show you guys basically how to use it, what basically you need to do to get the actual effect, and some techniques on how to actually make it look presentable and look amazing. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need Cinema 4D, you're going to need the Grebler plugin, and you're going to need... Uh, you're going to possibly need a Throwsy plugin. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter either way, but you are going to need those two things. Um, so, basically, to get started, and I already rendered out two pre renders, of course, as you guys see right here. Um, but we're going to go into Cinema 4D, and this is how you're going to start this out. Now, before anything, I would like to say that this is, an, this is a tutorial that was told or was. Uh, Vader came to me and told me to start to do this, and um, he wanted a, he really wanted somebody to do something on this effect, so, you know, he is, being French, and him only speaking French, he said, you know, Rated, let's, um, can you do one in English? And I said, of course. So, um, yeah, here's the English version of it. Uh, I will link Vader's in the description, just, you know, because, of course, he's always helping everybody out. But, um, yeah, so, anyways... Also, like the shit out of this video right before anything. <laughs> but uh, anyways, let's get right into it. And basically, um, we're going to start out with um, a spline or anything. So we're just going to grab my logo. Um, you guys can use the Dare logo. You guys can use whatever logos you guys are, are trying. Um, doesn't really uh, matter. Um, so what we're going to do here is let me grab them. Oh, God, I have so many folders and... Stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, rated logo. Where is it? Huh. Can't even file. Oh, here we go. Um. Anyways, we're going to grab. Okay, that's the wrong one. I think this would be it. Yes. Okay. Anyways, here's my R. And basically, what we're going to want to do is is just like you know the normal. Uh, effect of what you're going to do. You're going to add extrude nerves, you know, da 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 da, da. And you're going to want to just, you're not going to want to make this too, you know, deep or, you know, give the depth, you know, and make it a very deep thing. You're going to want to make it, you know, relatively skinnier. Um, and, uh, yeah, but, you know, most of the time I see a lot of people use just, you know, a different, you know, just colors. Um, I'm gonna actually use uh, actual like material textures, and the reason uh, being is because they're just really, really cool uh, things. And these textures I got, I just downloaded them, I bought them, they're amazing. Um, but, uh, anyways, I, I have what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna duplicate this layer, so no matter what, you're gonna want to have a duplicate layer of it. And the duplicate layer, you're, what you're going to do to that is you're going to do the exact same thing. Or actually, I'm sorry, you're not going to want to duplicate that. You're going to want to just go into your shapes, your cube thing, and you're going to want to grab a sphere. Um, and anyways, uh, what you're going to want to do is you want to grab this sphere, and you're going to want to actually... Oh, I'm sorry, my phone keeps going off. But um, what you want to do is is you want to just pull this sphere, you know, uh, a little bit further back, uh, behind it. And uh, I'm going to show you a side view of what it should look like. And I'm sorry, there's my Lightroom getting in the way, but there's my soft boxes. But that's kind of what you're going to want. You're going to want to have the sphere overlapping a little bit, but get it something like that. But then what you want to do is you're going to go into your plugins, Grebler, and just grab the Grebler. Drag the sphere into the Grebler. And what you're going to get is, is if I just click this, off is you're just going to grab a sphere. All right. And here's the Griebler settings. You want to make sure you clicked on base and you want to go to a bevel. Now a bevel you're going to want, you're not going to be able to switch it. So like if I just hit 80, it's always going to be 10. Uh, max, you're going to want to go up to 100 on your bevel. And 
minimum you want to go 80. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you a nice point and it's going to give you that effect of the uh, kryptonite type look to it, which is very awesome. Then you want to go your height, you want to go down to zero, and you want to take your max up to about 50, maybe even more, maybe about 150. And that's what's going to do is it's going to puff out. It's going to give that awesome effect, and I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like, if I can get a quick render of it. Let me see what my Cinema 4D is doing. I don't know what. Let's see. I'm sorry if my Cinema 4D is just being very uh, stupid at the moment, but it tends to happen every once in a while. Alright, so basically, I'm going to grab this sphere and just pull it back to a point where it kind of looks like the logo is being captured in this, this you know, uh, this kind of effect. And uh, right now you're just going to see this with very bland colors. Um, and something just very, you know, simple. And uh, that's basically what I wanted um, so far. But I just kind of want to get you guys to get the, the a round of what you want to do. This, this effect, honestly, um, is something that you really can do a lot with. Um, it's something you don't really want to just keep doing the same thing and doing the same effect that, uh, Vader does and uh, other people you really want to experiment with it um, and see what you can do with it uh, but yeah this is this is the most common one that Vader does uh, with that and as you guys can see you guys can get a little bit of the um, gist of what's going on so now I'm going to show you guys how to do it with text okay. so um, with text you're just going to of course create a mode text doesn't really matter um, Make your text, I don't even know what you guys want it to say. Um, we'll just keep it text. We'll capitalize it. And we're going to make it about 100 depth. Same type of thing. Uh, we're going to just use a little, little cool font here. I, I don't know if I have it with out right now. I, I, you know. Oh, here it is. Evil Dead. It's a cool looking font. I like it a lot. Uh, Kind of reminds me of like a medieval type thing, and uh, it's really cool. But anyways, we're gonna just grab a material. Uh, you know, I'm gonna actually use a really nice rusty material here. I'm just gonna switch it to cubic, and this works, of course, with regular just plain color materials too. So, but this is just kind of something that I do. This is kind of my grungy style. And you want to duplicate these layers. Now, if you guys remember my bubble effect. The way to get the bubble effect, of course, and you guys know this just as well as I do, is you're going to need an atom array. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our atom array, drag our motex over the or on, like, you know, into the atom array, and you're going to get this. Now, the difference between this one and the bubble effect is that there's going to be different properties here for your object. Um, the settings are going to be 0 0.01 for your uh, cylinder radius. And what that's going to do is it's going to make these lines right here very skinny and these radi you know, the uh, radius of them very small. Uh, your sphere radius, uh, I, I used about 8. Maybe, uh, you know, for this, maybe about 15, uh, just because it's a bigger thing. It really just depends on what you guys think. Uh, I used maybe, we'll, we'll go about like 12. And then uh, subdivisions, you can keep around 8. Uh, and what we're going to do here is we're going to bring in another plugins, Griebler. Grab the atom array and drag it into the Griebler. Now, what this is going to do is it might not do it to all of them yet, just because you haven't screwed with the uh, settings yet. Is zero for the height. Uh, and it might take a second to load. Uh, we're going to go up to about 25 for the bevel, or yeah, 25 at its max, maybe 30, and then. 20 at its minimum, and then we're going to bring this up to about 25. And you guys are going to 
not, I don't think you guys are actually, yeah. All right, there we go. And what this is going to do is, is um, with the whole text, um, you're going to want to move this back. Now, of course, clicking this button on Cinema 4D up in the top right, you can't see my layers right now just because it, it's lag. My, I, my computer is not an amazing render computer. Um, it's just a pain in the ass sometimes. Uh, excuse my French, but um, uh, that's kind of funny. I just made it funny. But anyways, yeah, it's just basic, you know, kind of stuff. But yeah, and you're just going to want to render it out. Uh, my Cinema 40 is lagging so bad that you can't even see what's going on. And uh, we're just going to keep that at 20. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to render. Now, I'm actually going to keep backtracking right now. All right, sorry about that. We're going to just go redo my Griebler because Griebler, we're going to go 20, uh, 10, yeah, that'll be, that'll, that's fine. And then zero. Maybe 30. Let's see what that does. Maybe 20, 30. Yeah, it doesn't always um, grab this last right side. I might, it might just be the Lightroom I use because it's a very old Lightroom. Uh, Yeah, I'm just going to have to maybe bring this up to 100. Let's just load this real quick. Happens every once in a while. 60. And I don't know why, but it's just... Not rendering for me. But anyways, you guys get the gist right now of, of kind of what to look for. Um, I'm trying to figure out why this... Okay. Grab this Griebler. We're going to do 30, 20, 0, 30. And what this does is it, it explodes this thing right here, as you guys can see. And it just explodes it. So after you have that, and you're going to want to put a color on this, now put a color that it adds a lot of contrast. So anyways, what you're going to want to do is, is I already have a render. Now these are two of the examples, of course, and I'm going to just re-show them to you. Now you're going to get a render something similar to this. Of course, you guys see the little spouts of the kryptonite coming out. And that's cool. You know, very rocky. And it um, looks very cool that way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just add a gradient overlay. You're going to go down to about 75 and pull it down. And that's it. You're going to want to rasterize the layer in Photoshop. Uh, filter, filter gallery. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to want to duplicate this, then do filter. Filter, filter gallery. Go to glowing edges, hit OK, and move the opacity down to about 40. And that gives it that nice, cool look that Vader gets all the time. Now, that's going to do the exact same thing with your other one, which is going to be logo. It's kryptonite effect. It's the coolest thing in the world, in my opinion, which I'll show you real quick. Let me just look for the one I had pre-rendered. Uh, okay, now these renders are going to take very long. Um, I do recommend using textures with these uh, textured materials. Looks the coolest, just my opinion. Might be wrong, whatever, shoot me. And this one, you're not even going to add a gradient. You're just going to, I mean, because I, it's just a Grabler. I don't really have anything on it. 
I'm just going to move it down to about 40. And that's it. Merge them together. So guys, that is the kryptonite effect. Uh, leave comments on more tutorials, uh, speed art ideas, anything you guys want me to do. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. My new episode on Obey should be going up soon. And I'm going to start uploading commentaries of this channel uh, as a like, you know, sniping commentaries, because I actually kind of really want to do that, and I'm sure a lot of people that are coming from Obey that are fans of me in, as a player uh, that are going to want to hear my thoughts on games and stuff like that. So if you guys are going to really enjoy that, uh, just stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to do a sniping upload a week and a tutorial or a graphic design a week, and we'll see. But anyways, thank you guys so much for 26K. Um, it means so much, but... Um, I just want to also say that thank you so much for this uh, support with my girlfriend too. She's uh, she's amazing. She's one of my biggest uh, you know motivations in the world. Um, she just makes me feel so amazing. And uh, you guys all know that I never shout out anybody at the end of a video that uh, is just somebody that's doesn't mean anything to me. She just means so much. So uh, thanks for following her on Twitter and everything. But um, anyways. I'm rated, guys. Like the shit out of this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and deuces.